Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this one we are going to look at how we can make a character walk along a spline. Here as you can see I have this spline which is completely adjustable and then I made my character walk on this path. You can use the same setup for objects as well and you can use this in a lot of scenarios in your games so let's jump right in and see how we can set this up by the way if you're interested in learning how to make a complete first person zombie shooter game in Unreal Engine 5 using blueprints check out my new course in this course you will start with the basics of Unreal Engine and blueprints then you will learn the animation framework in Unreal next we'll create all the animations we need using control rigs and finally you will put everything together and build a fully functional game it includes seven weapons, a hot, win and lose conditions, ammo pickups, enemy AI, and a wave-based game mode. Check out the link in the description. Alright, the first thing we need is an actor blueprint. So right-click in your content browser, create a blueprint class, go with actor and name it BP, for example, moving character. Let's open it up and now I want to add a skeletal mesh to my components. So here I am working in a third person template. So I have these characters here. Let's go with SKM Queen. So I'm just going to drag it into my content browser. And next I want to play a walk animation for it. So here in my animation mode, I'm going to set it on use animation asset and then here we have all of these animations that we can use so let's search for walk and we have walk rifle forward which is like this you can go with this of course and we have also walk unarmed so unarmed walk forward this is the one i want to work with and now let's drag it into the level and now if i simulate i have the animation like this now i want to create a spline and make my character walk along the spline so let's go back to our moving character blueprint and continue so here in the components tab hit add and search for spline and add it to your blueprint make sure it's not a child to your skeletal mesh otherwise it's going to cause a lot of problems later now here as you can see we have the spline and we are able to customize it as we like so here for example we can change the location we can rotate it we can put it here then we can grab the points we can hold alt and move and like this you are able to add points then you can adjust the path like this you can also use these handles to control the curves and you can of course delete and then create your own customized path so let's create something like this And now if I compile, you can see that the path is visible here in the viewport as well. And of course, you can edit the instance in your level as well. So you don't need to always come back here. You can just uh, control the path here in the level. Great. Now let's go back and then create the logic for our blueprint let's go to the event graph create a custom event so search for add custom event and name it walk then add an event begin play and call this event like this the reason we do this is to have more flexibility later and we give us the ability to call this event from other logic 
as well if you directly connect your logic to your events begin play everything works but then you can't call them based on other events in your logic so this gives us more flexibility and makes things easier for us later all right so the first thing we need is a timeline drag of aware add timeline and name it walk timeline double click add a float track name it walk track then set the length on one and now we need to add two keys so hold shift left click and add the keys the first one should be on zero zero and the next one is going to be on one and the value is also one hit these two icons to frame and now we have a value between zero and one in one second which is going to be used as an alpha for the lerp we need here so here i'm going to grab a reference of the spline component get its length so get spline length then add a lerp then we want to lerp like this so we want to set the a on zero the b is the length of the spline and this alpha which is the value that will be used to combine these two values is going to be our walk track so now this will give us a value between zero and the length of the spline based on this timeline here now we need a function to get the transform of the spline so here drag of aware gets transform at distance along spline so make sure the target is your spline then connect your lerp to this and now this is going to give us the values we need to set the location and the rotation of our skeletal mesh so this is a transform i'm going to right click split the pin so i can get access to the values separately and now as you can see i have the location the rotation and the scale and now i need to set the location and the rotation of my skeletal mesh based on these values so here drag of a wire set rotation and location set word location and rotation and then use these values so this is my location and this is my rotation and let's plug it to our timeline now let's compile and simulate to see what we have so far now here as you can see when i simulate this happens and this is because we need to set this function on world instead of local now when we simulate here as we can see the character is moving line the spline all right now the next step is to control the speed of the movement and we are going to do that by changing the play rate of our timeline so here let's drag a reference for this then set the play rate so here search for set play rate and plug it in now if the play rate is set on one it will be on the default value if we reduce the play rate for example 0.5 as you can see it's going slower 0.1 and like this we are going to control the speed so here we can also promote this to a variable so let me delete this promote to variable 
let's name it speed and let's also make it editable so we can edit it from the instance in the level as well let's set the default value on one compile and now here as you can see we have this speed value and we are able to control the speed using this so if i simulate right now it's going with this speed but if i set the speed for example on 0 0.1 you can see that it's moving much slower all right and now the final step is to adjust the rotation here as you can see the rotation is messed up so it's rotating 90 degrees like this and it does not match the path of the spline and the reason is this here our skeletal mesh is set like this the forward vector should be on the x so this should be uh, forward but this skeletal mesh the pivot is like this the y is forward so we need to rotate it for 90 degrees to adjust the rotation as well here in our logic we are using this value for the rotation i'm going to disconnect this split my rotations the x and y can remain the same but for the yaw we need to subtract 90 degrees to make it match the path now if i play you can see that it's working perfectly and the movement and the rotation are working great all right and now we have everything set up and we can do other things as well so for example you can create a loop here in your timeline when your timeline is finished you can call this again so walk and we can also set this to play from start so when this timeline is finished it will call this and it will play from start again so it's going to look like this and the next thing you can do is to create a closed loop for the spline so here select your spline and here as you can see we have this closed loop option when you select this it will give you a loop and now your character will start moving in this direction again you need to make sure the speed matches the animation now here as you can see the speed is too much we need to make it a little slower so let's set the speed on 0.05 and now it's looking much better as you can see it's going to walk on the path you made yeah and that's it for this tutorial if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video